So one view has stated that civil unrest is not only possible, but it's highly likely with the way they're doing in Congress. After all, Congress has let millions of Americans down at this point. Now, people lost homes and jobs and vehicles and their faith in our government. I mean, wow, what are we seeing here, folks? Now, these millionaire politicians deserve to at least lose their jobs, some people are saying. Now, I'm still believing that things can change. <laughs> But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse of Earth Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Back with you again for another Stimulus Check Update. Looking at this article right here about, you know, the presidential candidates and specifically on the question of money. Now, Trump makes a link pitch on the economy, you know, stating that United States economy records you know, gain historical COVID-19 drop. And uh, he blames Pelosi. Pelosi is the reason why everything is going bad. Um, and it's basically saying that, you know, before what we're seeing now with the dropping of the stock market, President Trump was looked at as the favorable candidate to kind of get the money together, get the economy together. However, now with coronavirus, all the deaths tripling and quadrupling, uh, right now he's being challenged. Uh, the strength that he had has been weakened by the coronavirus pandemic and surveys show Trump tracking Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden nationally and in crucial swing states. Now, I hope you're having an amazing day today. But sadly, I have rather unfortunate news to give to you uh, relating the second stimulus package negotiations between your home Democrats and the White House previously on last Tuesday. We got official word that there will be no stimulus before the election. That's what they're saying, folks. And there were, you know, a few short articles that you can look up on Microsoft News, on USA Today. And I mean, this is what they're stating, that there will be no stimulus before the election. And I simply want to read a few of them, you know, to you really quickly. But, you know, just know that Home Speaker Nancy Pelosi, you know, ended any hopes of a coronavirus relief bill prior to Election Day. You know, blaming the White House for stopping you know, the working of it miserably and uh, a letter to her House Democrats Tuesday, you know, she said that for a very long time now, you know, congressional Democrats have set out, you know, a strategic plan to crush the coronavirus relief plan. The White House and Mitch McConnell have actually withstood and on Sunday, Mark Meadows informed us while saying we're not going to manage the pandemic. You know, Pelosi said in her letter describing the chief of staff's interview in one state of the union from the idea of hundreds and thousands dead, you know, the White House has actually failed miserably, not by mishap, but by choice. Now, we know why they resisted science at the expenditure of lives, incomes and the life of our democracy. Again, it was a decision to do so. You know, uh, Pelosi stated now this news comes as the virus cases, the numbers have reached a record high this past weekend and hospitalizations are climbing up and more than 225,000 people right now have actually died in the United States. And they're, you know, a 7.9 percent unemployment rate. And, uh, you know, President Donald Trump himself has actually likewise signaled that no stimulus deal is coming before the election. And, you know, of course, they're trying to use this as a political weapon to try to get back in there i mean this is what pelosi is stating but you know what do you guys think you know the article states that pelosi and the u.s treasury secretary steven mnuchin had been negotiating a stimulus package for weeks and pelosi has set a deadline recently to have an agreement that could be voted on prior to the election day of 2.2 trillion dollars as a stimulus package passed by the house and this could be but they considered it too costly by Senate Republicans, you know, even Mnuchin, the White House proposed its own separate bill costing $1.8 trillion, but Trump had just recently signaled that he would want to go much higher, but he's being held up by Mitch McConnell. Now, both sides eventually failed to come up to an agreement for this uh, bill by November 3rd, which is election day. Now, he stated after the election that we'll get to the best stimulus package you've ever seen. And since... Uh, since I think that we're going to reclaim the White House, you know, 
He thinks we're going to have a great deal of congressmen and women Republicans that are going to be elected and that they'll reclaim the House and we'll hold on to the Senate and the White House. You know, so at this present time, it appears that the negotiations are done and Congress can go home until after the election and simply six days, which is simply six days away from, you know, we're simply six days away from discovering who the next president for the next four years is going to be, you know then millions of Americans will be suffering and left without a second stimulus check. At this point, you know, the second stimulus check, a lot of people are saying, you know, they really need to just go ahead and make a deal for the second, third, and fourth one at this time, you know. So many people were depending on another, you know, $1,200 to catch up on their rent, and their food, put food on their table, and, you know, for, you know, to prevent the economy from imploding, you know. Those are just a few, but undoubtedly, you know, some of the factors. Um, so for all of you out there suffering right now, you know, I absolutely feel your pain. You know, sometimes it just seems like our government continues to fail us repeatedly at time and time again. And, you know, the most possibly all of you can simply return the favor by casting your vote this year and, you know, voting them out. I mean, I, I understand that that's extremely may or may not be likely, but they all need to actually the votes need to show them that they are simply not doing the job. You know, these government positions are jobs. And, you know, if you were to, if you got a job at McDonald's, you know, everybody listening to this, if you got a job at McDonald's and you went in there and you wasn't, you know, frying the burgers right or just, you know, throwing things together off of, off of, you know, just doing things the way you wanted to do it and you weren't cooking the food and you were actually handing the food out undone, you know, whatever supervisor would come and just say, hey, you're not doing a good job. You got to get out of there. I mean, that's what needs to happen with our politicians this year. So if you're listening to this, you know, consider casting your vote the other way, giving someone else who seems to be qualified, giving them a chance because those politicians that's in there right now, they have not come together and they have, you know, stooged all over the place and just, you know, they are playing and meeting and playing and not doing the job that they need to do. And so it's time for somebody else to get in there and do the proper job. Leave a like, comment, tell me what you think. Who should be voted out? Who should be given a second chance? Pelosi? Mitch McConnell? He's totally against stimulus. Um, Donald Trump? Should he be given another chance to see just how far, you know, this thing can get out of hand? Should he be given another chance? Is Do you think that he really can turn it around? I mean, it went this way under him. Do you think that he, he can really turn it around? You know, it's up to you. Leave a comment. Best comments will be chosen. And uh, that's your stimulus check update for today. Just looking at this article. And we'll see you in the next video.